Okay? Okay. Ready? Go. Um. Hello. Welcome to Gulp and Nosh. This is episode 83, and my name is... Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Gulp and Nosh. You gotta face the camera and say it. Okay. Go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Gulp and Nosh. Hello. We're gonna call for This is episode 83. This is episode 83. My name is... My name is... Then say your name. Mary. Nora. Ellie. <laughs> and Alex. And today we are doing another snack crate from... I have no idea, but Emerson does because she wouldn't let me put the drink in the fridge this week. There's like a palm leaf on it, leaf on it, on the drink. Like, uh, I, I, so I think it's an island country. The Netherlands? That's not an island country. On average, Dutch men are the tallest people in the world. That's not related to food, but oh, here you go. Um, the Dutch are the largest consumers of licorice, eating over 70 million pounds every year. You guys really like licorice? You really like licorice over there? Here's one I like. Uh, the audio tape, videotape, and the CD were all invented in Eindhoven by the Dutch company Philips. Well, I mean, I like, uh, I like records, vinyl. More, but uh, that's, cool. that's cool. That's cool. All right. Um. Ooh, an open bag of mustardy smelling Lay's. Is it mustard flavor? Uh, let me. I saw it on here. I'm concerned by the fact that they got opened oh. in the in the shipping. Yep. These chips are They're... flavored with mustard, onion, curry, and mayo, also known as jopi, jopi sauce. So good. Oh, jumpy sauce. I'm going to hate this so much. So mu mustard flavored Lay's, uh, probably uh, super stale because they were open in shipping. But uh, let's give it a go anyway. Use your hand. Not that thing. stale. Hmm. And surprisingly, not that mustardy. They're very mm -hmm. smell. They smell very mustardy. Yeah. Anyway. It's like a, there's, is there an onion in there? It tastes like a bit of an onion and a mustard. Yeah, mustard, onion, curry, and mayo. It's an interesting flavor compared to a typical Lay's, but I, I think I would sit down and eat those. I think, I think I might like buy those and, and have those. They're not yeah, terrible. they're really good. They're all right. These Bef unique chips are flavored with the tangy tomatoey goodness, goodness of bologna sauce. Bologna flavored chips. Bologna flavored chips. Tomato, onion, bologna. Block, blognies. Smells weird. It smells spicy. I don't know. I'm not into it. Your tongue's on fire? Those weren't spicy. I said they smelled spicy. Wait, me... Black licorice. The Dutch are serious about black licorice, and there can be none more black licorice than these classic licorice bites. Now, uh, you may have watched our Norwegian spectacular for with our friends from Norway sent us a big box of stuff, some of which we do not thank them for. Um, and uh, we got black licorice in there. 
Not uh, out of our wheelhouse here, but oh, there's little coins of oh, black God. licorice. Coins? Oh, God. Don't spend it all in one place, kid. I'm going to spend this. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to spend this. Mmm. That smells weird. Yeah, you get it. I'm going to spend this. Throw it away. Ew. Well, black licorice isn't great, but Ew. I don't mind it that much. Ew. <laughs> I think oh, that's, thank God the taste goes away quick. That's the general reaction to black licorice. You didn't, did that you guys was, even try it? No, I, I did. I'm okay with black licorice. That. That is horrible. Mm -hmm. Get off yeah. my chair. I'm okay with like normal black licorice. <clears throat> that is not normal. That should not mm. be that black licorice, black licorice. That black licorice, black licorice? Yes. Too black licorice y. Yes. Because black licorice is too black licorice y. No, only that one. Waco's paprika. Mm. It's also from Lay's. A crunchy corn snack with a literal twist and dusted and savory paprika flavor. Stop on it. Wackles. Get back in the chair. Yeah. Nobody can see you down there. Yeah. Sorry. Paprika. Nora. Why do other countries seem to have more of a uh, tendency to use <laughs> just a, a spice like paprika? Or um, thyme or um, cilantro as a flavor. Whereas, like in America, we don't necessarily do that very often. Paprika is just like something you put on your recipe, it's not something that you use as a chip flavor, you know? You already have one. Um, and and I feel like every time they do that, it's not that flavorful. I like it. It's good. I get more of the starchiness than I do any actual flavor. You know? Mm -hmm. Katja. Cat? Katja. Katja. Zermachis. Where's the jaw of a cat? Is it on their cheek? It's the jaw. The jaw, okay. The jaw. The cat jaw. This is a cat jaw. That's the bloody muscle ripped from the cat's jaw. Oh God. These fruit flavored sour gummy ribbons are intense but balanced with sweetness. This one I think I'll like. Stand up so people Original can see that. sour power. <laughs> Zermatjes. You okay? It's got a sour kick to it. I don't know about that. I like it. Yes. I like it. I like that sour things. Ooh, let's go with this thing. It looks interesting. Looks like a cigar. Oh, God, it is. Uh, this is it. Canel stock. A classic Dutch snack. The cinnamon flavored tree is often sold at street fairs and carnivals. Yeah. How do you eat it? You got it, looks, okay. it looks like a wood dowel. <laughs> How are we supposed to eat it? Oh, it smells very cinnamony. It is looks it just like a, a solid stick of cinnamon. It looks like a compact solid stick of cinnamon. Look. I'm gonna bite it. Oh, powder just came. Or do you out. just like suck on it like a sucker? Is it a wood dowel? <laughs> Possibly. Well, it breaks apart. But who what? I feel like we're doing the cinnamon challenge right now. My God. That is just a solid. <laughs> 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 That's just a solid Millie, stick of cinnamon. You have to try. 
<laughs> Cinnamon challenge. <laughs> oh no. Next, we're gonna do the challenge where the people were lighting their chest hair on fire or whatever. Uh -huh. So, stupid. if you want a solid, compacted stick of cinnamon, oh, hey. there's that. Stroop waffles! Yes! I told you! Stroop waffles! We uh, watch our video from what country? Was it uh, Germ? No, was it Russia? That we had know. the little versions of Stroop waffles? Yes. Russia? Watch our video from Russia to see the little versions of Stroop waffles, but here's a full blown version. Crunchy waffles filled with creamy caramel, place on a cup of hot coffee uh -oh. or tea to soften the caramel. Hi, Too bad we don't have some coffee to go with this. So the Stroop waffles I've had, I had like a vanilla cookie, but this is a chocolate cookie. <coughs> so good. So are we feeling this after the video? Gun. Stroop waffles. Totally good. You can probably find them in the foreign food section of your local grocery store. They're not that uncommon. They're pretty legit though. Why are you messing with I my hair? I think I will also like. Um, Fruitella. Um, um, Fruitella. These fruit flavored chews are packed with intense flavor from real fruit juice. Juice! Shut up. <laughs> Juice! <laughs> Ooh, these look, they're like mambas. Oh, there's banana. I figured yellow would be uh, lemon. Apple or lemon, yeah. But it's banana. Tastes like what mambas. If, you had, if you've had mambas, mambas are really good. I, love I got a green apple. I got green apple. Green apple. So, I what'd you get, Greg? Green. Yeah. Since we don't put smack in your lips, is it delicious? Yes? Mm -hmm. No? Stop smacking your lips. Mm -hmm. Since we didn't have coffee to go with the stroop waffles, we have coffee candy. Uh -oh. Named after Baron Hendrik Hopp, a, no a noted coffee lover, these coffee candies have been noted made coffee since the late 1700s. They have strong coffee flavor. I'm oh, done God. now. I'm done now. I'm done now. Oh, it's like a dark roast. Bye bye, Russia. <laughs> it doesn't seem that strong. It doesn't seem that strong. And again, I've I gotta contradict everything that my dad says. No, I'm just like a dark roast. Huh? You've sweet. never had dark roast. No, or unsweetened coffee. We went to an actual coffee house once while we were waiting for a... That's for Millie. Okay. For a concert. While we were waiting for a concert, we went to a coffee house and she got... Um, I don't remember what got it was. Got some pictures Americana and a signed, a signed sheet list. Is, it, is yep. that what it's called? It got some pictures and a signed sheet list. Was that that concert or was that direct sheet. hit? No, it was... Lulu's. I thought it was direct hit that we went to the... No, it was Lulu's. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, and uh, she had to put so much sugar in it, and the guy, like, basically shamed her. He was like, if you want to put... If, you, if you're putting that much sugar in it, how about I let you try something else on the menu? And he, like, made her something else for free. Very nice gentleman, but it was like... He did, like, he was, like, cringing that she was ruining the coffee with how much sugar she was putting in it. So he was like, oh, I'll make you, I'll make you something else that you might enjoy more. Because you're obviously not into coffee very much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This isn't bad, though. This isn't better, like, the coffee there. These feel very crumbled. Windmill cookie. I've had these. Wow, this is, like... This is like my childhood. We okay. used to always get these windmill cookies when I was a little kid. I didn't know this was like a foreign thing, a Netherlands thing. The Netherlands in its most traditional Millie. snack <laughs> form. The classic spe speculous cookie in the shape of a Dutch windmill. I'm keeping this bad. Not really in the shape of a Dutch windmill anymore, <laughs> but. No, these are good. They're like a almondy. 
Um, no, I um, behind uh, I, I always liked these when I was a kid. They have, they sell these out in Meyer. It's not like a hard thing to find at all. Crumbled. Yeah. What's that? Pingenberg. Oh, Pingenberg. A classic Dutch treat. This gingerbread has been baked in the Netherlands for almost three, 130 years. Excuse me. For almost three years? I was going to say 300. Oh, okay. But that is almost triple what actually it was. What, what is this? Cake? It's gingerbread. You don't like it? Too plain. Too plain? I'm only just now noticing. Very gingery. That our soda is so sparkling lemonade. It is not a soda on in fact. One sometime we Cherry should Cherry bouquet. Sometime we should try these recipes they have on the side. Mm. Stamp up. Stamp pot. Alright, we got another snack? No. Alright, what's our soda? <clears throat> cherry bouquet. This sweet and sparkly cherry soda. Is a popular treat throughout the Netherlands. Does it taste cherry? Yes. Very cherry. Very cherry. Give me cookie. Very tart cherry. Okay, that's good. Pass it on more. We grow very tart cherries in Michigan. I, I like it. It's a. Uh, it's light. No, but a no. very strong cherry flavor to it. It's uh, it doesn't seem syrupy like mm. American drinks do often. Hi. I like it. So, what do you guys think of the Netherlands? It's good. I like you. Like you, Netherlands. We like you, Netherlands. I'm I'm stealing like half of these snacks when we're done. So. Even uh, hey. the black liquor. She's stealing no. the black liquor. Have those. What? I and still the cinnamon have, stick. I still have the black licorice from uh, from the box from our friends. <laughs> then eat it. Yeah, I always see it and I'm like, mm, I should eat that so it doesn't go to waste. It's like a, it's like mm. what a year old now. I don't know. That was the Netherlands. We will be back next week with another episode. Head up the D box below. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> To get a link to our Discord and our email if you would like to chat with us, ask us some questions, as well as a link to our Patreon, our Streamlabs, and our merch if you would like to I kick us some funds. Don't touch those, those are mine. I'm keeping the. Goodbye, everybody. I keep uh, see ya. Just